Thank you so much for watching Inside South Florida. This year's Pompano Beach Virtual Music Series lets you enjoy it from the comfort of your own home. We're joined by Grammy award-winning Flautas Nostor Torres, and he gets us in the know on what this year's series brings for music lovers. The Pompano Beach Arts Virtual Music Series is launching with a bevy of powerhouse performances by award-winning, globally acclaimed artists. Each show is a celebration of amazing global sounds and features artists who are nationally and internationally acclaimed. The first three concerts of the series will be hosted by legendary Grammy Award winner Nestor Torres, who joins me today as well as programming manager for Pompano Beach Cultural Affairs, Jody Lachinsky. Both of you, welcome to Inside South Florida. Thank you so very much. Greetings. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. This is a truly exciting, huge music fan. What will music lovers experience with this year's series? Nestor? Well, what you just said, you know, some of the best talents in South Florida. I know that Ed Calle um, will be opening this series and he's a dear colleague, dear friend. Uh, truly uh, one of the greatest saxophonists I've ever known. And actually, it's Dr. Ed Calle is a brilliant mathematician, a brilliant uh, 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 composer. Uh, it's terrifically exciting. Jody, we have also a terrific uh, show for the second uh, performance, the Brazilian uh, uh, extravaganza, is that right? Absolutely. We have Paulo Guilano, if I'm saying his name correctly, with the Brazilian Latin Sounds Company, and that will be in April. And then following in May, we have Tony Sukar's Latin Project. And yes. still three are just fabulous. And that's sold as a package, so you can buy all six concerts, you can buy three concerts. Yes. And in fact, you know, the uh, Tony Sukar, uh, he's a really done wonderful Grammy Award winning young producer and, and percussionist. Uh, I remember him when I did a master class uh, at Florida International University many years ago. He was just getting started and I got to do, I got, uh, actually got to do a performance with the FIU um, uh, Jazz Big Band at the time. And I remember I was pretty strict with him, but he responded and, and I cannot wait to be able to share with him now as a colleague. Before he was years ago, he was a student of mine now. He's a, an award-winning colleague, so it's going to be particularly uh, uh, meaningful for me to be able to, to host uh, his concert. Such an incredible list of talented and the caliber of the talent that's going to be performing this year is truly remarkable. Jody, can you speak to the virtual aspect of this? Because we can enjoy this concert from the comfort of our own living rooms. You can, and you know, due to COVID, our, our beautiful cultural center is closed at the moment, but we will be hopefully opening up next year when we bring this back, but you can be on the couch, enjoy this concert, nationally, internationally renowned artists, and you can buy them as a package, as I mentioned, six concerts for $120, three concerts for $75, or one concert for $30. And, you know, just relax, sit back, have your dinner, and enjoy a concert. Absolutely. It's a 90 minute program. Miami is this hub, this mecca of different sounds, different flavors, different cultures. Ms. Dord, can you talk to us about the um, different sounds we're going to see at the at, at the festival, at the series? Because you know there, we have jazz, we have we have Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Well, if you you said it about them. Uh, Ed Calle, it, it's about jazz, hardcore, hardcore. You know, uh, improvisation at the highest level. Not because it's, you know, sometimes jazz can be a bit, you know, challenging for some folks that aren't familiar with the music. But the thing with Ed Calle is that the, the musicianship and the artistry of the highest caliber uh, is combined with a, a certain level of accessibility to, mm -hmm. to the music he does. So whether it's straight ahead and some of the smooth jazz sounds, he's got all that covered. You know, Brazilian music is just something that has that uh, infectious, uh, ubiquitous kind of uh, uh, appeal. Uh, to everyone. So that kind of festivity, that kind of uplifting uh, 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 feeling, that's what the second show will be about. And once again, Tony Sukar, you know, he's a young generation of exciting, you know, uh, artistry, where he's taking Latin music to, uh, you know, new levels, you know, bringing in, uh, because he was raised in the United States and uh, from Peru Peruvian roots, he's got that salsa pop kind of a combination that it is truly gonna be rewarding. And I may say that, you know, uh, I'm very impressed and I'm, I'm so happy to be part of this, uh, 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 you know, series because what the Pompano uh, uh, 
cultural center is doing. Jody, make sure that I, I, I get confused. Let's say the name again, right? P Pampano Beach Cultural Center, not center? That's cultural center, yes. Pampano cultural Beach Cultural Center. center. <laughs> it, you know, what, you, what you're doing, what the center is doing is truly courageous in that, you know, no matter what, you're moving forward, you're bringing, you know, arts, uh, culture uh, to the community and not just, you know, uh, in Broward, uh, in Day counties, but you know, you, as you mentioned, worldwide. And so, when you know, by you joining us, by you being part of, you're not just being a spectator; you're being part of, you know, the performances from your own homes. Mm -hmm. And in so doing, you really, you know, continue to support the arts, continue to support culture. So, uh, you know, your being able to join us does much more than just bringing you. Uh, uh, you know, the best of entertainment and the best of culture to your homes, but you're actually keeping culture, you're keeping arts, you're keeping us artists going at this very difficult time. So well said, Nestor. I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, 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 you know, because of the pandemic, the arts have suffered, live events, performing arts have suffered tremendously. So to have this here in South Florida is magical. It truly is. Indeed it is, yes. Jody, you have spoken to um, the cost and the accessibility of the series. Where can they go to buy tickets? They can go to two places. They can go to pumponabeacharts.org or to Ticketmaster to buy the tickets. And, you know, looking forward, we've got Karina Iglesias, we have Alan Harris, and then we have Lisa Richards. So, you know, just a wide range of different musical acts and talent. And we're so excited to bring these artists to our stage, live streaming to your living room. And, you know, hopefully next year you'll join us in our cultural center, which is a beautifully new center. It, it was it opened in 2017, so it's still fairly new. And we look forward to seeing our patrons come back. But we have now global patrons, which is exciting too. Right, so much talent is taking the stage and absolutely we look forward to being able to enjoy this rich music in person safely when we when we emerge when we emerge to our new normal. That's what they're calling it these days, <laughs> the new normal. Jody Lashinsky, Nestor Torres, a pleasure and an honor to have you both on Inside South Florida. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys get your tickets and experience the wealth of talent that's taking the stage at this year's festival.